bite you or do you just sit there and hope it falls off or drive and I don't know. Crazy in the I parking lot? I don't get I don't know that I'd I'll get call out of you the car. when it happens. Call me. Yeah. I'll say, can you just get it off? Seriously. <laughs> I would be the last yeah, person to call. This, please. <laughs> take care of that. You're a Floridian. You uh, take care of that for me. You're used to those snakes. Serious snakes, gators. Yeah. Yeah. Coming up on 518, uh, no rain out there yet, but it looks like we could get a little wet later today. Yeah, later on this afternoon and evening. Let's uh, look outside though right now. A dry start to the day. Temperatures a little chilly right now, so you may want that light jacket with you walking out the door at 63. Winds are light out of the north northwest at three miles per hour. Now across green country, you'll notice pretty big difference, a pretty big temperature spread. Yeah, 50s up towards the northwest, 70s down towards the southeast. It's a stationary boundary that's draped just across the area, keeping a a little bit warmer temperatures down southeast. Tulsa, though, on the cooler side of that. So that's why we're starting off at 63. But if you're waking up in McAllister, it's not all that bad. It's about 75. So what's going to happen today is that front will finally move out of here. But as it does, it is going to bring a chance for some showers and thunderstorms. And some of us could see some of those become potentially stronger to severe. So here again is that stationary front. Slowly it'll move up towards the north uh, there just a bit and kind of stall out right along that I-44 corridor. But then as it starts to retreat back down as a cold front, there's 5 o'clock, you get some scattered showers and storms that develop. So by 5 to 5.30, Look for a few isolated uh, scattered showers and storms to kind of pop up along that boundary. It'll push down towards the southeast through about 6.30 to 7. We see these showers and storms then continue to make their way down southeast. 8 o'clock still a couple of scattered showers and storms. And then by 11 they slowly make their way out of here. We'll hold on to some clouds though here in Tulsa throughout the evening. But there is about a 20 to 30 percent chance that we'll see showers here in Tulsa. A much higher chance though down towards southeast there near McAllister and Stigler. So. That's what it's looking like for today. This morning, have a light jacket as it is a little bit of a cooler start. Midday, it's feeling pretty good, uh, about 76 or so. And then this afternoon, we'll see a high closer to 81 degrees with some of those showers and storms developing in the early evening hours. So today's high, 81. Tomorrow's high, 70. Cooler air has settles on in. Overnight lows will be down in the 40s and 50s. Those afternoon highs up in the upper 60s to low 70s to round out the work week. Then for the weekend, temperatures are back in the mid to upper or 70s, but we have mostly sunny skies, so it's feeling pretty good going into Saturday and Sunday. Not expecting any uh, any rain across the area, so that's always good news for the weekend. Uh, and then going into next week, upper 70s to low 80s are expected. Let's take